Hello, welcome to Big Rig CEO. I'm James DeJong. And today I'm going to talk about per diem. Is, uh, is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? You know, I get that question sometimes in the email. I've heard it talked about before. And uh, I thought I'd put out, you know, some pretty clear information on it. Uh, before I do that, let me say, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Do me a favor and share the video on your Facebook page if you haven't joined our Facebook page, um, at Big Rig CEO on Facebook. Also, Happy New Year to everybody, because well, coming up on the end of this year, which means we got a new year coming up. Hopefully, you're working, making a little bit of money, and if not, you're home with your family having a good time. Um, also... If you have not entered the contest to win the Tetford Curve Porta Potty for your truck, you can do so by sending the word crapper to bigrigceo at gmail.com. Just uh, put crapper in the uh, remarks or in the subject line, and uh, that'll automatically enter you to win. So let's talk about per diem. Is this a good idea? Is this a bad idea? You know, who benefits, who loses? And it kind of depends on who who you ask, but I'm going to give you the information I have on it. Okay, if you'd have asked me two years ago before the new Trump taxes, my answer would have been completely different, right? But after Trump's new tax laws came into effect, that changed everything with regards to whether you should or should not take a per diem from your company. Um, some companies offer per diem, some companies don't. Let me say this. Now, today, if your company is giving you the option of per diem versus no per diem, take the per diem. And here's why. Um, two years ago, prior to that, you, as a over-the-road truck driver, could write off $52 a day. Any guy, I think it was like 70% uh, at the time, of that $52 a day for your meals and tips without showing a single receipt. And as a company driver, that was huge. Well, you had some companies that were paying a per diem and if you took the per diem back then, you could not write off the $52 a day. And basically, they were taking your tax deduction from you, right? It wasn't, you know, a lot of them, it wasn't even an option. We pay a per diem, and it was somewhere between 5 and $0.10 cents a mile. And they would pay you a per diem, and you would lose your tax deduction. Now, if you don't know what a per diem is... What they'll do is they'll say, we're going to pay you 45 cents a mile, but 10 cents a mile is a per diem. And what that really means is we're paying you 35 cents a mile that you're going to be taxed on. And that 10 cents a mile, the difference between 45 cents and 35 cents, you don't have to pay any taxes on. That is tax free money. It doesn't show up on your W-2 at the end of the year. You do not have to pay taxes on that money. Now, since the Trump tax laws have gone into effect, as a company driver, you no longer have the option to write off the $52 a day for meals and tips. Period. It's gone. It's done. That's it. It's over. And so, if you get the option to get the per diem, you should take it. Because now you're, you're getting that tax deduction back through your company. They're taking the tax deduction, to be sure, because as a company, you can still do that. So, for those of you who are owner-operators... Um, you still get to write off your meals and tips, right? Your $52 a day. And I think it's like at 80% right now, and that's where it's capped. It's not going higher than the 80%. But as a company driver, you don't have that option anymore. It's not there. It doesn't exist. When they raised your minimum standard deduction, they erased that. 
So, for tax purposes, it is 100% to your advantage to take advantage of a per diem if your company offers it to you because now you still get the tax deduction, right? Uh, the, the new standard deduction, which is raised from what it was two years ago. Plus, you get to write off that per diem, or not write it off, but you get that money and it's tax-free. <clears throat> so you might make $60,000 a year, let's say, but you might only have to pay taxes on 50000 Depends on how many miles you, you ran and what your company's per diem is. I've seen companies pay as much as 11 or 12 cents. Most of them pay seven or eight. Some of them just pay you a nickel. But even a nickel at this point is better than nothing, which is what you're going to get without it, right? So, again, two years ago, before the new the new tax laws went into effect, it was definitely not in your best interests. And, and I used to always think, man, that should be an option. They, they should give you the option. I had worked for a company, and it wasn't an option. I just got paid a per diem, and they were taking my, my tax deduction from me. And I hated it. Oh, I, it, it, it just, you know, it pissed me off. But now, you, you, don't, you don't even have the option of writing off the $52 a day. So you might as well take the per diem, because at least that's tax-free money. Right, And now you get the elevated standard deduction. So it's really win-win for you. And, and it's a win for your company because they get the tax write-off. More tax write-offs they have, then the better off they are. Maybe they stay in business a little bit longer. Maybe they you know use some of that tax write-off to give you a raise, but I don't think so since they're giving you the per diem, which kind of is a raise when you figure, you know, if you can get another five to 10 cents a mile out of them tax-free, how do you lose, right? Anyway, that's kind of where I wanted to talk about today. It's, you know, uh, should you do a per diem? Should you not do a per diem again? My final analysis of it is do it. If you, if you have the option, if your company's one, because some of them have that where yes, you can do it or no, but you have to choose it, choose it. It's tax free money. And you're not getting to write off that meals and tips anymore anyway. So at least this way you still get something out of the deal. Anyway, I uh, hope everybody drives safe. Have a Merry Christmas. Um, again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like us on Facebook. If you need to get a hold of me, BigRigCEO at gmail.com. Don't forget to enter the contest for the Tetford Curve. And until the next video, keep your wheels on the ground.